Welcome back to episode 5. If you remember our little teaser for from last episode, we built this little guy. So, it's true. We are going to start building an iron farm today and get a little bee farm going. So, the design I'm going to use uh, for bee, for the bee farm at least, I think is pretty standard now. Um, you do a comparator, let's see, do we have a comparator? Can I show this? Okay, we're going to pretend this is a comparator. And redstone, yeah. And, um, yeah. So, you put a comparator, yep, yeah, out of the bee's nest. And once that's reached signal strength of five, it activates a dispenser for the glass bottle to get the honey block out of it. Or to get the honey bottles, which you can craft into honey blocks. So we're going to work with that today, hopefully get a better setup than that. Um, but then for the, as far as the iron farm, let's see if I can do this with... This is the schematic mod. So if I press M, as in maple leaf, let's see, load schematics. I think Iron Farm 1, yep. Loaded to memory, placement created. Cool. And, okay, so it's like below me right now. Yep, yep, it's down here. Oh my gosh. Okay, there it is. And it's, it's all wrong placement right now. So let's do this. Creative. And if we do, nope. Okay, go to schematic placement and then alt scroll. There we go. Okay, come up. Here it comes. Oh, ho, ho, the leg. I'm rendering a video right now, too. So this is, yeah, this is going well. Uh huh. Bring it over this way. Yeah, there we go. A little more. Okay. So if you recognize, this is uh, Nembom's design, the same one we had in our old world. Um, so it shows us exactly where every block has to go. We just place it in those spots. These aren't actually here. Um, but what we're going to do is if you've ever been to a downtown with um, Skyway access, so you can walk between buildings without going outside, we're going to make each one of these little units. You can see there's five of them. We're going to make each one of those its own little tower. So it'll probably be spread out in this area back here, so we've been clearing it out. Um, but you'll notice the road is much wider than the distance between two of these. So this is actually going to be, we're going to sacrifice a little efficiency, because um, this is made for um, the husk or zombie with a helmet or whatever. Um, to go around, and every time it reaches one of these units, it spawns a golem um, at perfect timing. So we are going to spread these out a little farther and sacrifice some efficiency. But I think if we have the zombie, husk, whatever it is, going through the skyways, I think that'll be a really cool effect. So I think first thing, let's get to work preparing this area. And then maybe we'll set up the little bee farm too. Okay, so we're back. We've done a ton of work, um, took a lot of the wool out here, laid out some more roads, decided where we wanted these, these iron farm units to go. Uh, so we got one unit here, one here, one is going to be up here, and then this one will be a double one. Um, this is long enough to actually fit um, two of the regular distance units. Uh, so we're going to put those in there, and we're just going to weave the zombie or husk or whatever we end up getting in between these. So we can fit a skyway like right here, another one over this way, and one probably this way. Um, so next thing I guess is to gather a ton of materials. Um, but first of all, let's maybe set up the honey farm. Show you guys this too, we got the armorer villager's head. 
Another nice one to add to the collection here. Our our dead friends. Um, where's our beehive? Oh. And there we go. Did we get heads? We did not. No problem. Okay, so our beehive. Where'd that go? There we go. Contains zero bees. Um, we're gonna give ourselves that bee back because I want it back, and I don't know where it went. Okay, we are gonna need. Oh, we got rid of all of our bows, didn't we? From well, oh, these are dispensers. All right, so I had to craft another comparator here. I think we have everything we need now. Um, let's just see if I can figure out how to do this. So we need a flower for the bee, right? I guess we can give him like an extra space there. Let him get out towards the flower. Then we'll glass around it. Uh-huh. Just like that. Oh, and probably the top too, huh? There we go. And I didn't leave a ton of room here, did I? Um, oh no. Okay. The dispenser has to go on top. So it dispenses down the glass bottles into there once it's full. Okay. And now I guess we'll just... Oh, we can... We'll just use glass. Let's see, it's got to be the signal strength of five, right? Once it's full. The so one, two, we'll do this one up. Three. And that doesn't reach. Oh, uh, we can put a repeater. Unless I'm doing this wrong. We can move it all one closer. Yeah. Just something like this. Two, three, four. Oh, does that power that anyway? Yeah, that might. I'm going to play that safe because of the quasi connectivity thing. So I think we do it like this three, four, five. And then we'll repeater into a block here. Okay, that should do that. And then I probably want like some sort of upper chest thing under here because I don't think the honey bottles stack. Let's do something like that. And let's see if this works right. Um, bee, bee nest. And then we want the honey level to be five. Um, oh, it went in there. Well, that's interesting. Not what I thought was going to happen. Huh. I might have to look up designs for this. Okay, so I looked at some videos. Turns out we were doing this right. The issue is if you have um, any open spots in the dispenser, the honey bottle is going to go in there. Um, so if I show this again, um, update that, the honey bottle is going to be inside there. Even if we um, do something like, oh boy, if we do something like there's only one glass bottle in one of these spots, if it picks that one to use, now it has, it puts it into the, the honey block to get the honey. Now you have an open spot and it's going to put the honey bottle back in there. So you do need to fill this up um, at least with two glass bottles in every slot for it to work. Um, but we're going to do a lot more than that here quick. Um, I didn't want to use all my glass, but we have to, we have to. Um, those were from testing stuff. And then we can make more glass here. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, bottles, there we go. Right in front of me. That should be enough. And it turns out we... It can be any kind of flower. And you don't need that extra 
grass block that I had in there. Um, so I'm going to um, put a B right here. Yeah. And we got to face this forward. Okay, get rid of those also. Uh-huh. Like that. That updated, okay. Those are lit up. And... What direction is this? So I can just use this probably to... <laughs> Maybe I can do it quick. Let's just try doing it quick. Summon B right here. Stay, 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 stay. Stay down. If I step on him. Down. Get down. Well, that works. Way easier than I made it out to be. And let's fill this up. Cool, so that should be... Oh, wow, oh, yeah, he's already in there. Oh, and then we can just, uh... Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely made that way harder than it had to be. Cool, so we should be producing honey now. Um, just with that simple little setup there. All right, guys, we're back. So, we got the first farm done here. I'm gonna hit the toggle button to unload the schematic. It's... or just not render it. It's still loaded. You can see with the blue outline there. And we got the first little module done here. Um, man, that water's kind of loud, isn't it? Um, oh, that's probably environment, huh? Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, so what's going on here is you have the villagers here. Zombie husk, whatever, comes through, stops here for a little bit. Um, because there's, well, I can show you. The detector rail turns on the comparator. Um, pulse lengthener, uh, which is actually going to turn these rails off for a while, making the zombie guy stop right here long enough to scare villagers on both sides. And then an iron golem spawns somewhere in this area, falls down, falls into the water here and gets pushed over into what's going to be lava right here. I just don't have the lava yet, but... So this will flow the one, two, three blocks out. And yeah. Um, you'll notice I, I did flip this, so these glass panes that aren't supposed to be there, you know, it's it's flipped. Right? Ooh, there we go. There we go. Um, so I'll show you guys how I'm doing this. Alright. So I'm going to keep that loaded for a minute. Go into survival. And so this is saying have a glass floor, right? I'm doing stone because it's, you know, a little cheaper and it doesn't really matter. Whereas some other places they do need a specific, like a light source or a transparent block or it has to be a slab, something like that. Um, so down here, okay, that is as far as that goes. So this definitely does get a little tricky does get a little weird looking uh, especially when you're putting in the wrong blocks like this the different ones than it wants got to be really careful that you are doing what you mean to be doing um so i already think i'm going see i'm already lost what in the oh, okay yeah i might as well go the whole way down here it doesn't hurt anything it just gives us a little more defined ground. And then whenever I get lost, I just turn the rendering off. And I can see what we're actually doing here. Okay. That's kind of how that goes. Um, A little design changes I had to make over here. If I load this back in. That's nice and close. Um, You'll see this uses end rods up here. Um, to kind of hold the villagers in place and give it light. I'm using walls and fence, fences with torches on top. Um, that should be plenty of light. Um, these blocks are going to be covered by rails, so that doesn't matter. Um, the walls should be plenty to keep them in, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but that's the only real thing we're doing differently. Okay, progress report. We left the bees going overnight. Crazy. Just crazy. 
Um, here's how far we got on this stuff. Uh, so we got all the units in, and this main part has to be there so they get the zombie or whatever gets held at the right spot. I think that's right, because then he gets that. That one might be wrong. Um, but yeah, you can see we got the same thing. Yeah, because it's over a little bit on this one. Okay, so we're going to have to move that one. No problem. Uh, we did set up the double unit here and then that other one over there. And now, what we're working on now is filtering all the iron to the same spot here. Um, so I'm not going to filter out for poppies just yet. I'm going to get, you know, a double chest of poppies and red dye and, you know, enough extra red dye, I guess. And then I'll start filtering it out. Um, so I'm going to have it just shoot up to the chest here. And all I'm doing is going down to one of these units. And I'll have to block this off. Kind of like this. There we go. Then I just come down here. And I have the coordinates written down. So I want to get the height 50. Where are my signs? There we go. Um, put this guy right here. All right, so I want to get to height 58. And then which way do I have to go? Over this way to 43. Yeah. All right. Okay, where to go? I'm lost. Uh huh. There we go. Survival. So just a few bucks this way. I'll make sure it's lit up too here. There we go. Oh, uh, one more. 43, good. And then on Z, we have to get to negative 20. So this should run right into it, right? If I just do this. Yeah, that goes straight ahead. That's basically all I'm doing is, is continually doing that. And then at the start of these, we'll put some ice. Wherever it stops, we put packed ice and a pressure plate. Pretty simple stuff, right? And we just keep working that down. So I'm going to finish up these water streams here. And then the fun part, we have to get villagers and a zombie in there. But we might have an issue. Um, so, remember we had like a hundred villagers in here well i finally got annoyed enough with them that i was sending them all down to a little lava way down there so they didn't affect like the village score or however that works um but then i realized we have to repopulate to actually use them now and we're not quite there yet um what's that one two three four five six you know ten maybe including the babies well, we need three in each one of these. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. So what I think I'll do in the meantime is clean up some of this area, right? So I'll cut the trees down, fill out some more road, maybe put up some more lampposts and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this might take a while uh, to repopulate all that. Okay, so we got a fair bit done um, before we ran out of andesite, that is. Uh, we added this little part over here. 
I'm realizing we're going to have to figure out how to adjust heights on this road with wool. Because there's no, like, wool slab, you know? Um, so maybe I just do a full block and do it like that and make it look a little weird. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, wrapped it around here. Cut out underneath this house. These houses are going to go eventually, so no problem. Um, right now, we're going to go with the villagers we have. We got a decent amount over here. We might even have the full 30 already. Okay, one, two, three. How many licks does it take to get the center of a Tootsie Pump? The world may never know. Alright, so they got up just fine. One, two. Oh, no, 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 don't go backwards. Do not go backwards. Aha. You are being stopped. There we go. Okay, and then we just gotta come down here. One by one. Knock him out of here. Weird how he got hurt. Uh huh. And we gotta get this last guy. And I just. Okay, that was dumb. Huh? Should be able to just push him in. Tap it in. Tap, tap it in. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Don't fall, don't fall. Nice. Alright, easy as that. And then we just uh, do that a bunch more. Oh, I got it. Sweet. Well, I forgot about rail duping. All right, guys, tons of exciting stuff happened. Uh, we finished the farms, we got the rail system in, and we even have... Do I have a minecart here? Yeah, there we go. I'll uh, need some rails. And I'll get some. That should do it. Oh, I probably need something to activate these, huh? Um, I can make some torches. There we go go yeah. all right so i'll fly up here show this to you guys this rail system took me way longer than it should have uh, but we do have it um so these are little skyways in between buildings um nice and simple i don't know we'll we'll see how they work long term but these will more than likely be a stone brick kind of building each except that's a lot of gray you know it doesn't look too like, you don't see stone brick buildings in downtown centers, right? So that, we'll see if that stays. But for now, they look good. Um, so the way this rail system works, how is there a fourth one over? Oh, my. Oh, boy. I didn't think this through. Um. Well, anyways. Um. So the zombie goes down the rail system this way comes back hits the bumper and then comes back this way so coming this way he's gonna keep going that way when he comes this way he's gonna turn okay um and that same kind of setup is on every you know you can see the same kind of thing right here here he turns um here's that little intersection for this section over here uh, but the problem we have now that we just found out is that villagers can get out onto this glass, which I really should have thought of, you know. So how are we going to fix that? Because, like, right here is the wall of the building, right? So we can't really work around that too much. Um. Well, let me see if I can... Oh, you know what? I could just raise this up a block, right? Then they can't. Let's do this in creative quick. Um. Okay, so that would have to maybe be up there, that up there. Then they can't get out. Huh? Is he? Is the zombie gonna get hurt going through there? 
let's see if we just do zombies or zombie spawning okay oh boy and let's so we can catch him easier here not really gonna get out I don't think it will because that's a slab right okay yeah he looks good okay so that's what we'll do then is we'll put oh not the yellow bed oh come on oh okay we messed up we messed up Oh boy. Okay. Let me sleep in the bed. Okay. Well, that worked. We'll put two more guys back here. Have to take this guy out. Uh, huh. Oh, we got his head. Look at that. Uh, we have to take this guy out. Uh huh. Get rid of the fletching tables and the glass there. Uh-huh. And we can raise this up, right? If we just do something like this. That should work. Put the rails up here so he's coming around this way. Whoop. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. We just move these. And we're going to say we use the same amount of glass. Huh? Oh, but how's he going to get back here? Yikes. Um, that has to connect like that. Okay, that'll work. Except we might need more powered rails, which we have on us. So let's use two more. Put some power here. That's not going to work through there, is it? No, of course not. I'm trying to make it look nicer, you know? Uh-huh. And if we make... Yeah, so these have to stay here too, then. Oh, boy. How are we doing this? Oh, we could just make this a solid block, huh? Just like that. We used one, two powered rails. And this should do it. Just, oh boy. We go like, ah, uh, ah. Oh, I made that way harder than it had to be. Okay, so I don't think, you know what? I'm going to put another glass block right here. Right there, because I don't think... Can you get through that? Is that? Does that stop you? I go like that. Okay. Good with me. Good news, good news. What if you put another one there? That, that should stop it. Oh, no way. All right, let's check out these other ones. They can't get out, they can't get out. Good. Check out these guys, they should be good. Okay, yep. And this last one, okay. So it is just these central guys, which makes sense because they have the most rails coming around them. Um, but they should, yeah, they're not able to get anywhere else. All right. I do want to make sure that this is going to work out with a zombie if we put glass like this okay so let's put him do, 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 do. oh boy want to get him on this track here Did we get him okay okay he does go through just fine That might actually make our first iron golem here. Uh, oh my gosh! Look at that! It works! 
Hot dog. Alright, that works fine. So we want to get rid of him, though. Hey. Now we got him. You're gone. He is a feisty little guy, huh? Come on. Be, be gone. Alright. What do we need to get rid of now? This, this, this. A lot of stuff. Uh, we had that. We had a minecart on us. Yeah. All right. Let's go to sleep here. Good stuff. Um. So the last thing we have to do, we actually trapped a zombie already. So let's head over to him. He's right over here. Oh yeah, the cats. I don't mind cats. I guess they can just be a little annoying. Taking up the iron golem mob cap. Um, because they're part of the same mod cap, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so he's over here. All we have to do is get him on the track. Um, he does have a helmet for now, um, so that's fine. Um, but what I want to do first is put a roof over all this stuff. Um, so that's why we got the slabs here. Now... He is, uh, these are going to be inside buildings, um, but I don't want to take the time. This has already taken forever. But I'm just going to make sure he's good, good enough for now, and then we can build around all this later, no problem. We will probably have to light this up. You know, that, and that's no big deal. Oh, I probably could have just, whatever. Yeah, I could have just made these bottom slabs. But yeah, let's let's get the slabs going here. I'll get those over the rest of here. Yeah, is that gonna hurt him? I never know. You know, it didn't didn't look like it over there, right? So we just want to make sure he's a okay safe. We care about our little zombie bait, right? Do 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 do. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, finish putting the rest of these, build a path for him, and we'll watch together as it starts up. Okay, so we got all the the toppings done. And you know, oh, wow. Never mind, hold on. Yeah, like I was saying, we got all the uh, the toppings done, so he's he's protected from, some, from uh, sunlight. And the one thing I wanted to do, clear this out. Do we keep that? Yeah, we can keep the head. Um, I do want to get rid of this iron. Um, because we did cheat in that zombie where that came from. And I want the first ones to be legit, you know? Alright. So we should be good to go. We just gotta get this guy up here. And a cat. Oh, you come back here. Oh, now he's playing camouflage with the stone. Come on. Aha! Uh -huh. Your string is mine. Okay. Open this up the rest of the way. You can probably stop this. Oh boy, that's not what we wanted. Can he not see me, maybe? Okay, that works. And punch that out. Oh, that worked really well, look at that. Huh, I don't know how that happened. Okay, come on. No, 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 get up. Oh, okay. Do that. Come on. Go. I'll come with you. I want to. I want to watch. Oh. Hey. No. 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 Oh, I want out. Okay. Let's watch it in creative. Creative. Is it working? Oh, we gotta get rid of this now. Never mind. Hold on. Ah. Pick is too good. Okay. We get rid of that. We get rid of that. We gotta put that back. He's still going. Good. Get rid of all this. Quick. Okay, that's good for now. Is it working? Where'd he go? Going back. Oh, look at that! Look at that! How's he going back this way already? Uh huh, look at that! We have iron. Oh, that's such a good feeling. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, now he should hear these guys, right? Good, good enough, good. One, two, I don't care, I'm just happy we're getting it. Perfect, look at that. Oh, that's such a good feeling. All right, cool. If you didn't see, guys. Oh, his name tag is gone. Oh, we had him name tag. Okay, let's get that back in action here. Uh, ha, ha, where'd our name tag go? We have some in here, right? We should. No. There we go. Uh, huh, we'll, we'll name two of them. I think we we could keep our name tags, you know, like a, a little memento of the ones we've done. So this guy's name is Nori. And if you can't figure out why it's named Nori, why don't you ask Dr. Owls? Uh-huh. Okay, let's go name him before he gets too far away. Get him on over here. Yeah, and I was saying before that I'll have to light up. There we go, Nori. Sweet. We have iron. Oh, that's a good feeling. Anyway, I was saying before that I would need to light up on top of these. Oh, you know what? I could have just made them bottom slabs. Well, they, they are bottom slabs already because they are. Yeah. So we're good there. Um, That's just fantastic. Let's go grab our first iron. From down here and probably oh look at him go beautiful show you what I did for the I had to rework the collection system down here too um, so everything is coming in here just fine um, and then we ended up making this a bubble column but we had a problem with this one where we're having to shoot it around a corner runs into the trap door so it doesn't get stuck on that pressure plant. Turns the corner and then comes up just fine. Okay. And that goes into the little redstone dropper item elevator there. And yeah, basically the issue was before with the dropper tower that I had. If you have this redstone setup, you get items stuck in the dropper tower. But if you have it like this where all three of them are getting powered. There's, I think there's three, yeah, one, two, and then the one going into the chest. Yeah, wait, yeah. Uh, when all three are getting powered like this, it's, um, well, for one, makes it mostly silent. Um, and the items, no items get stuck in there. You can see. Um, it, so that's just a huge plus, so. All right, let's check it out. Back to survival. Look at that already. Oh my gosh, how are we gonna keep up with that? Um, wow. All right, well, let's decorate it up with the first poppies we ever got. Uh-huh, we'll maybe have to rework work that later. We'll see. Man, that's a little frustrating how separated those are, but whatever. Okay, something like that and get our first iron. Beautiful. Just, oh, that's such a good feeling, guys. Well, I think that'll do it for today. This episode's gone on long enough. Look at that, nine blocks already. Did we do something like that? No, oh, we'll leave it for now. But, yeah. And then the one other thing I want to show you quick. This is funny. So, you might have seen this door over here. And I wonder what was going on. Well, I've been growing some birch trees down here, trying to get more bees. Oh my gosh, we got another one. I didn't see that one before. Um, so there was one over here. Oh, are they both in there right now? Oh, there's three in there. Nice. Total bee location. Cool. Um, just planting them in rows like this, trying to get more bee nests. And it looks like it's working. Really nice. Um, so we do have... A total of four of those now. 
Yeah, I dug out underneath here. Nice. And then I'm closing that door so they kind of can't fly away. Then I reworked this a little bit. Um, so it looks a little nicer. We're really low on food. Yeah, they, you know, works as you'd expect. They come out, dispenses the glass bottles down. We have 32 honey blocks already. And we did find a large slime, which is how we were able to make that. But we are really getting going now. Next episode, um, I don't know. We'll see what we end up doing, but guys, I'm so happy with how this is going already. So that's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.